Hey there, this is your good friend James Knight. And a lot of times I've explained that the money is in the list. That's very important. Um, Christy, can you explain why the money's in the list and how important having a big email list is? Absolutely. Um, as we have all learned, and, and if you've heard the money is in the list, we're going to introduce you to someone who has done this um, on a huge scale. And the reason it's so important is even if you just have a small list and they like you, know you, and trust you, um, you can recommend products to them and you can build a full time income with a list. I mean, it is possible. Uh, we are doing it and we're going to introduce you to Reed Florin. And Reed, can you say hello? Hi, Christy. Hi, James. Thanks for having me. Hey, Ray, we are thrilled to have you here. Um, James and I have heard of you. You're um, you're famous online, and for a very good reason. I mean, you are like the king of the list building community. Can you tell us, um, you know, how you did it and uh, why you recommend it? Oh, well, thank you. Um, you know, I first started doing internet marketing back in uh, 1999. And I was 13 at the time. I turned 28 next month. So I've been doing internet marketing for quite a while. Uh, I really struggled for a long time. I didn't really know what I was doing. And I didn't start building my first list until um, late 2006, 2007, somewhere around there is when I first started building a list. So I, I kind of wasted like seven years uh, trying to figure out internet marketing. For building my first list is I partnered up with JV Partners. So. I found people who already had an email list of their own and I said, hey, let's put together a web page where I'm going to give away one of your products for free and I'm going to get nine other people to contribute a product. So we'll have ten people contribute a free product and then we'll all just promote the page and you guys are going to get every subscriber who signs up and I'll get the subscribers too. So I found ten partners to promote and I built a list, my first list of, it was like 3,500 some subscribers in seven days doing that and so I was kind of hooked and that was a free uh, method for building a list. It still works today. Um, I've done several of those and how I learned how to do that is I had partnered up with a gentleman named Henry Gold who uh, he did a, a big giveaway called 117 Christmas Gifts and we got over a thousand partners on board for that uh, where we, we partnered up on that project and we built him a list of 50,000 some subscribers in 30 days. So I knew this JV partner stuff worked, I knew doing these giveaway events worked, and I knew kind of how to do it, and I just figured, well, I'll do it on a small scale, so I don't have to get any like custom special software that he had, and so I built my own list that way, and that's how I got started. That's amazing. Um, I, I, we talked before, and what was your highest potential of what you had, the most subscribers or list you had at one time, Reed? Uh, it was somewhere between two and three hundred thousand was when I was at my peak. I've kind of taken the last like four or five years off because I've got a couple little ones and I wanted to focus on them being young, uh, so I haven't really messed around with my business much. But um, at my peak, I was somewhere between two and three hundred thousand. Wow, you probably would have broke a million if you stayed in it. Well, unbelievable, isn't that, Christy? That's awesome, Reed. I mean. I mean, people say these numbers all the time, but I mean, how much is one subscriber that is a buyer, say, worth to you, um, you know, five years from now? I mean, it really depends. I've had buyer, I've had people that have come in for something for free, uh -huh. and they've spent five grand with me immediately on an opt-in page. They've signed up for something for free and spent five thousand dollars immediately. Cool. I've had other people who don't buy anything, so it's it's hard to judge. Uh, the the general rule of thumb that a lot of people throw out is a dollar per person per month. Um, you know, some some niches vary, uh, some lists vary, some customers vary. So for instance, um, I had a stock market site that was very successful when I was a teenager and I had several people on there that would spend quite a bit of money, um, you know, either buying stuff I was recommending, they would click on advertisements on my site. I even, well, I mean, I was a teenager so they even like sent me checks of money <laughs> sometimes because they just like, they like the site and they're like, well, here's a thousand dollars, you know, I really like what you're doing, you know. And wow. So it was pretty neat. Um, and then there, there's other times where um, you'll have something like a, a big ticket product of your own that you'll sell and let's say you're doing a webinar, uh, either you're doing a webinar where you have a guest or you're doing an interview like this and uh -huh. you can make a lot of sales that way. I mean, that's where a lot of money is. A lot of people focus on these WSOs and they're selling them for, you know, 
$17, $27, $7, things like that, and it's hard to make a lot of money doing that. You can get a lot of customers that way, and that's great. I mean, that's a, that's a lead generation tool to get customers, but a lot of people seem to think that the only money that they're going to make is, well, I'm selling this product for $17, and that's it. They don't have any, um, like, a product funnel, so they don't have any one-time offers. They don't um, have a plan for what to do with their email list. They don't really think two steps ahead. They're just like, well, I'm going to make this little ebook and make, you know, $100,000 selling $7 copies of it. And that's a lot of work. It's a lot easier to sell like a $1,000 course and yeah. make a lot of money. So I, I highly recommend that people do build an email list and do build a relationship with their list, but they need to focus on creating higher ticket products and services to offer because, um, you know, when I've, I've sold low ticket products and they're great, there are definitely wonderful low-ticket products, and I've sold big-ticket products. But for uh, career enhancement, it, it really has been the, the bigger-ticket <laughs> products that uh, have done wonders for me and for my customers. Because um, when someone comes in and they, uh, you know, they invest their their time and money on really delving into a product and into a program, and you know, wanting to get real training, getting like a home study course or some one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, that person's going to succeed. Uh, I found that uh, those customers are the ones that really take action. They really uh, jump on things. It's, the problem is when people, you know, buy like five different WSOs every day, and they wonder why they're failing. And it's like, well, you didn't focus on one system. You know, it doesn't matter to me if you focus on list building or not. I think that's the easiest way to make money, and it's definitely been the most predictable, most long-term stuff from everything I've tried. <laughs> but uh, you know. I'm sorry. No, that's my, fine. My bulldog, my bulldog is agreeing with you. He's like, build a list. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Whoa, 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 build a list. <laughs> and the, I mean, the nice thing about having a list is, especially if you're building a list in the internet marketing niche, I get a lot of products for free because of the uh, the email list I have because people want to get me on board to promote. I've had people, you know, FedEx me money overnight. Uh, I've had people send me a hundred dollar, you know, a hundred dollar bill in a FedEx envelope with a, a DVD saying, "Well, here's you know, a hundred dollars for your five minutes to look at my JV invite proposal," you know, and I think that's pretty cool. The FedEx overnight that um, you get cool prizes when you promote uh, products. You know, I've gotten, you know, iPads and video gaming systems like an Xbox 360, and um, you know, I've gotten like phones and other tech gadgets and all sorts of other cool stuff from uh, you know promoting uh, these joint venture contests that people put on and you wouldn't be able to do that without an email list so it's it's really um, amazing what an email list can do and uh, I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say is you know really focus on a strategy decide to go for it and really go all in you know it, it could be you know learning list building for me or it could be learning something else it doesn't matter you just need to focus on one thing and really get that mastered and I, I feel email marketing is the best thing to focus on Agreed. I, totally right yeah, Reed, if you put me on a desert island, right, sure. with, with a laptop and maybe a hundred bucks, how could I build my list as fast as humanly possible? Sure. Well, um, I would think that the, the fastest way to do it would be to buy a solo ad because that's, uh, that's really nice. Basically, what a solo ad does is you pay someone who has an email list and you say, hey, I'll give you, I don't know, a um, hundred dollars. And you'll send me, I don't know, 300 clicks or something uh, to your to your uh, squeeze page. That's the the page that you're trying to build a list from, where you have like a an attention grabbing headline and maybe a couple bullet points, and you have an opt-in box. That's a squeeze page. So I'm sure everyone on this call has, has seen one of those. Um, so basically, you're you're paying someone who already has a list, and you know, let's say you pay James, and he has a list of, you know, he's going to send like 300 people to your site. Well, those 300 people, maybe on your squeeze page, you get half of them to sign up. So you're going to get maybe 150 people to sign up. Well, you just paid $100 to get 150 people. That's, what, like 75 cents a subscriber? That's pretty cheap. Right. That's awesome. Okay, that's perfect. That's a perfect, simple solution right there. One, two, three. Yeah, um, t Reed's totally, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people don't understand, but um, Reed does do very well with this. I mean, I would literally say he is the guru of email list and actually building a list. And I'm telling you, if you guys are not taking notes right now, you're totally losing out. Um, if I was going to actually say, um, 
what what would you actually recommend? Like, if you're going to have an opt-in page, would you have a video inside there or no video? Capture, capture. Yeah, I really. That, that's hard because it, you really have. It boils down to testing, and different markets perform differently for different things. And also, it depends on how comfortable you are on camera. I mean, there's a lot of people that are just afraid of being on camera. I don't even notice a camera when I, I talk to a camera. But a lot of people are just <clears throat> get that deer in the headlights look, and they just get frozen. That's not going to work. There's a lot of people. Uh, and I I do say I'm in awe a lot too. But um, I have some advantages where I tend to use a teleprompter. I have my own teleprompter system. I've got green screens. I've got lighting equipment, all that kind of stuff. So it really boils down to how professional you want to do it. Um, things have changed. You know, when I first started putting videos online, it was okay. Just put something didn't matter uh, what it looked like, and people were okay with it because they're like, "Wow, YouTube, what's this?" But now, uh, I mean, it's like every day there's like six days worth of YouTube videos putting, being put up. So you have a lot of competition going on. So I guess what I would recommend for someone starting out is probably not start with a video, just unless they're really comfortable. And, you know, there's other technical aspects that go involved uh, with it. I've found that predominantly my best uh, squeeze pages have been ones where it's just like a headline and an opt-in box, and there's nothing else to do on the page. Uh, no, I mean, that isn't the case for every single one, but very high percentage have been where it's just been just a real attention grabbing headline and a you know a, a, like a, an email field I don't even ask for name usually I just ask for the email because that usually gets a higher response that's cool I have another question that's real important I know Christy would agree with me um, when you're emailing out when is the best time to email and how many times should you email so you don't get so many unsubscribes sure well I personally don't worry about the unsubscribes so much. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, no, if I send an email out, people are going to unsubscribe or I'm going to get hate mail. I like to get the hate mail. I like to get the unsubscribe requests. I, I like being polarizing online. Um, now, nah, that's not my usual personality, but um, online I kind of like to do that because I feel that people that are going to buy from me are going to buy from me because of a, a feeling they have. They're, they're going to either align with my views or they're not going to align with my views. And the people that love me and the people that hate me are going to buy. It's that 90% in the middle that aren't going to buy. You know, those, yeah. those lukewarm people that really don't have a real feeling towards you. It's the ones that really like you or really hate you that are going to read your emails and buy stuff. So that's who I want to appeal to. And I also feel that if you're not irritating someone, at least sometime during the day, it's, it's a waste of your day. So... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but but uh, you have to be kind of aggressive with some of this stuff because there's so many people now. I mean, when I first started doing email marketing, there weren't very many of us, and now there's thousands of people that sell solo ads and do ad swaps, and you have a lot more competition, so you have to find a way to stand out. Yeah. Now, um, in regards to sending out emails at specific times, I mean, it kind of depends. There are definitely times of the day where... Well, uh, you okay, so you have to focus on what time zone your customers are in. So let's say you have a lot of people that are in the United States and not that many people are international. Well, this will be a little bit easier for you. You might go, okay, well, a lot of people are kind of waking up, um, you know, like 6, 7, 8 a.m. They're not really checking, checking their email or paying much attention. So maybe like 9 or 10 o'clock, they might be a little more focused on it. Um, people are going to be a little more focused around lunchtime because a lot of people take a little lunch break and check their stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will see stuff at the end of the day when they get home, um, you know, after they've um, you know had dinner with their family or something like that. They're going to check their email. Uh, you know, if you're going to send out an email at like 1 a.m. in the morning, you're probably not going to get that many people that are interested in buying. At least the employed people aren't really going to be checking their their email. Uh, most of those people are going to be asleep. You might get some hardcore internet marketers that are up really late. Uh, working on their business, but um, most of the people are going to have money to spend. And I mean, there are definitely some people that you know, like, work during you know, like night shift and stuff like that, and come home and have money to spend too. But I mean, th there's a reason that the infomercials are on so late. You know, it's it's people are bored and they don't have anything else going on. They don't have a job to go to in the morning, and it's really cheap to to buy that that advertising now. Um, that being said, if you have a like an inter international list, I have sent emails out in the middle of the night, our time, uh, our U.S. time, but it's done well 
um, you know, like over in England or over in Australia, because it's a different part of the different time of the day for them, and it's more like their normal working hours. And so you have to keep that in mind and pay attention to where your subscribers are. Yeah, that's a good tip, really. I mean, as far as time zones and and you can look at your list and see where they're coming from. You're absolutely right, Reed. So, Reed, you have a course that you just put out. Mm -hmm. um, so, if, you know, if I wanted to know more about email marketing, can you tell us about that course and how much it is and how? And what's in it? Because that's I guess I, I mean I'm really um, excited about because I think everybody should grab this. Yeah, let's hear what's in it. What's in the box? <laughs> Well, it's it's Email Ninja Academy uh, class of 2014, and this is a project that I worked on with uh, my partner Anwish Rath, and he's put together a really awesome course. Um, I mean, it's really like a home study course, but it's only seventeen dollars. It's pretty impressive what all he's put together. He's he's uh, got a whole bunch of inner you know email marketing training, and Anwish has done a really big list of his own too. He's got a couple hundred thousand subscribers as well, and uh, he's. He's done some training where he's got you know videos on how to do email marketing. He shows you um, case studies of emails of ours. Um, he's got emails that have really done well, emails that have bombed. He talks about how to get subscribers, how to keep people on your list, how to get your emails into the inbox instead of the spam box, how to deal with the Gmail um, tab feature that they're doing right now, which is kind of hurting a lot of email marketers, um, some Skype uh, email marketing techniques. Uh, he's got like some copywriting elements that you can put onto your squeeze pages and some squeeze page templates to start building your your list. Uh, there's a two hour long interview with us, uh, Anwish and myself, where we talk about all of our list building strategies and how we build a relationship with our list, how we get people to buy from us, what we'd do if we had to start all over, those types of things. Um, there's a bonus customer webinar where I'm going to be doing a live um, training on email marketing and I haven't planned that out yet but I know I'll be teaching a lot of cool stuff on, on email marketing and hitting up anything if we missed anything I'll definitely be hitting those things up in that call and um, you know there's just a lot of cool stuff in that course and I mean it's it's really I know it's a cliche but it's really a no-brainer for what's included it's it's ridiculous how much money there is in email marketing and how predictable the income is and just what email marketing can do I you know, the only reason people, um, I guess, know who I am, and I don't really consider myself a celebrity at all, is uh, because of my email list. My email list has gotten me invited to speak all over the world. It has um, opened the doors for lots of other opportunities. Um, I get a lot of products for free because people want uh, me to promote. I mean, it's really <laughs> one of the, the best investments in your marketing education is to build an email list and start promoting other people's products and services and uh, making a lot of sales for them because if you do that, other people are going to notice. And I was uh, I was telling James earlier that I had someone, um, you know, FedEx me a $100 bill overnight in an envelope for me to look at their JV proposal. Oh. You know, and that was, that was a couple of years ago. I mean, that, that's pretty impressive that uh, people do that kind of thing. And I mean, there's just so many prizes you can win, and so much cool stuff that can happen from uh, you know doing a, an email marketing list. So I highly encourage everyone on this call to to do email marketing and learn how to do it because this is, I'd venture to say, that, well, it's definitely the easiest money I've made online is through email marketing, and it's been the most predictable thing online. Now, um, with email marketing, I'm not worried about Google shutting me down. I'm not worried about PayPal shutting me down. Uh, I just have to get my emails delivered. And uh, there's third-party programs that do that. You know, there's companies like Aweber and GetResponse and Constant Contact and iContact. And I mean, I could go on and on. There's like 50 different autoresponder companies that are you know reputable uh, places that a lot of us marketers uh, go to. But uh, you know, it's really a nice way to to build an income, to build a business, and to get, I guess, a certain level of quote-unquote fame, uh, if you will. I mean, we're doing this interview because I have an email list and it, it's really fascinating to think of how how things like this progress right. um, just from having a list. Reed, can you tell us, you, you mentioned something about, and may have missed it, um, the income predictor, you know, who people, a lot of people want to say, well, you know, this sounds awesome, but can you give me some kind of idea, ballpark, you know, what kind of income, and you said you have a tool for that. Yeah, uh, Anwish has put together a pretty nifty uh, spreadsheet where you type in some numbers on like how much traffic you sent and some information on um, the products that are 
that you're promoting and like the commissions you can make and what you kind of expect to make um, depending on how your promotion did. So it kind of gives you a ballpark figure. So you can go, oh, okay, so I sent 100 clicks to this offer from my email. I'm going to make somewhere between, I don't know, let's say $75 and 150 depending on what the, the spreadsheet uh, does and it calculates this all out for you. So you just imp input a few things, and it you know gives you a, kind of a range and an idea of what you uh, could make and what you kind of expect to see based off of what other people are doing uh, by promoting the offer and um, you know the whole sales funnel process of what you're promoting. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, James. Any final thoughts? You know what? I'm, I was just floored. I took a bunch of notes. I'm just telling you, I mean, it just, I went really from actually, you know, I mean, a couple pages really here, and I'll just tell you, um, it's not very often when we have somebody at Reed's Caliber to be on here because, I mean, just like he said, he speaks all around the world. I mean, people send him iPads, iPhones, probably very soon quite a few TV flat screens, and I mean, even money in the mail. I mean, Reed is really the real deal. And I'm just telling you that you would be just really just um, you would lose out if you did not grab this because Reed doesn't keep his products ongoing really where that you can pick it up a year from now. You got to pick it up as soon as it comes out because after it's gone, it's gone. And you're gonna miss out because what Reed is telling you is that he has around you know at his potential about two to three hundred thousand dollars of I mean emails, I mean subscribers, I mean I mean the numbers are just. It's crazy. Do you picture what he would be making a month? Two to three hundred thousand dollars, possibly a month. And I'm not saying he's making that, but I'm just saying that that's what the numbers could actually represent. And um, it's huge. I mean, all I can tell you is that um, the main thing you have to do is that you got to grab this course. You got to start from the very beginning. You got to start building your email list. And once you do that, then you can build a sound business. Because just like Rita's mentioned, you can't actually just um, concentrate and you know hope Google's going to stick around or YouTube's going to stick around or Facebook's going to stick around. Email list is probably the easiest thing. And I'm just going to mention this real quick. Is that I sent out an email. It wasn't yesterday, but it was a few days ago. And I made $600 in probably less than five minutes of setting up an email. Nice. I mean, it's crazy. And um, I, I will tell you who it was. It was Stephen Gilbert. I was just Unbelievable! And Christy, Christy made a lot of money on that email. Too. Am I right, Christy? Yeah, I made money putting out an email. I did. I I promoted Stephen's product, and um, in one day, I made over. I think it was six hundred and thirty dollars, something like that. And nice. that's when I, yeah, I was thrilled. And that's when I knew, you know, the email marketing is very profitable if you do it the right way. Like Reed's talking about, you have to focus. You have to build a relationship with your list. You know they have to really, um, as we said, they love you or hate you, or you. But they look for your emails because they react, right? Read Definitely. It's a visceral reaction. They they want to see what you have to say because they feel something towards you, and um, a lot of times it's hope. You know um, they feel that they hope that we can help them bridge that gap that they haven't seemed to jump over that fence of frustration. And that's what Reed is a master at. So I would say get his course and study it. Really. I'm going to mention something real quick. And and, and this and, and I'm going to make a lot of other affiliate people mad or everything. I know I'm going to, but I don't care. If I was going to say one course to get for this year, really, that everybody that we've done so far, this would be the course you would grab. Because wow, this is a course you. that can make you a lot of money, and uh, it is coming from an expert. And um, I'm telling you truthfully, is that I do know that Reed has a huge list, and he's actually great at this. Um, I've said it all. I mean, I give it two thumbs up. Um, that's usually I'm not very quiet during the interviews, and Christy will tell you that because I can talk talk. talk, talk. <laughs> I, I was busy taking notes. <laughs> and, um, I was glad that Christy was doing most of talking because that gave me a chance to actually take more notes and actually pay attention and listen. So, um, two thumbs up. Go for it. Um, Christy, what do you say? Absolutely, two thumbs up. I took my own notes, too, because, um, you know, when, when Reed talks, people listen, and we are listening, because, Reed, you have, you have a proven record. You have a proven, successful formula, and as we always say, success, you know, leaves crumbs and clues, so all you have to do is follow Lee, Reed's um, 
plan and he's gonna he's laid it out for you have a he has a course it's not that much and if you are serious about building um, you know a serious business online you need to see what Reed has behind the curtain right Reed awesome um, Thank you. Thought, um, Reed you have the last thought of the day and then we'll have um, Christy have her um, dynamic thought of the day <laughs> sure well, I, I mean, really, it all boils down to, to building an email list. Um, you know, I, I struggled for years trying all sorts of different things, a lot of things. Yeah, I made a little bit of money, but I really was just kind of struggling, and I kept struggling and kept struggling, and um, it wasn't until I started building an email list where everything changed, and that's that's where I, I feel that a lot of people are right now, where they, they either haven't tried email marketing or they've, you know, just dabbled in email marketing and they don't have enough faith in it, but but think about it this way. You have more than likely bought an internet marketing product or a how-to product or some sort of information product through email marketing. Someone else has sold you something through email marketing. I mean, you're, you're watching this um, video because you've seen an email about it. So you know the power of email marketing. You know it works. These emails are grabbing your attention. They're getting you to take action. I mean, we've been on the phone for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, maybe 30 and uh, you wouldn't have stayed this long if you hadn't seen an email on it and, and were interested in what you're seeing. So what I want you to do is you need to take action on this course. Invest in your future. I mean, if, if you if you decide that, hey, I don't want to do this, and you know, 30 days from now you still haven't built a, a list, well, you're just going to be where you are right now and just 30 days older. But if you take action now and invest in this, and uh, you know, really apply what we're teaching you. You know, you're going to see some some levels of success as long as you're implementing what you're learning and taking action. And that's really where it boils down to. I see so many people that want to succeed and want to do stuff in internet marketing. They jump from thing to thing to thing. You need to focus on one thing and give it your all for the next 30, 60, 90 days, or you know, however long you want to do. And you know, set some real goals and really just just go from there. And I feel that email marketing is one of the most measurable things you can do because, you know. Basically, you're you're seeing. Well, I'm getting you know X amount of subscribers every day. I'm spending um, a certain amount to do it, or I'm doing you know free traffic to do it, and I'm seeing a return on it. Where a lot of people focus on doing getting like number one rankings in Google, and you know it might take six months before they even get any rankings in Google. And if they do get it ranked, it might just get taken away just like that. And uh, the thing with a, an email list is you're really building an asset. You're you're you own these emails, you know, and you can send them offers anytime you want. You know, I've had times where I've sent multiple offers in a day. Um, you know, there's definitely different things that you can do uh, with an email list that you can't otherwise do. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they build a, lo a, a like a, web, a blog and they're just trying to pull people in and trying to get them to, to come to them. And that's a hard way to make money. It's not very um, responsive, but I just push a button and I'm able to send traffic and make sales. I mean, this is really, you know, I know you see a lot of things online where it's like push a button and get rich type of thing, but none of that stuff really works. You know, the only thing that I've seen that, that works where you're really literally pushing a button and making and money comes out is an email list because those people have a relationship with you. They know, like, and trust you, and, you know, they, they are looking forward to the emails you have and the information you're giving them, and it's it's based off that emotional relationship they have with you and, and obviously the offers you're, you're presenting them as well. It has to be stuff that's going to help them succeed and as long as you um, you know, can demonstrate that and you can share that with them and you have that relationship with, with them, you can make a lot of money with email marketing. It's an amazing thought. I appreciate all that. Um, and I'm telling you, um, he's totally right. All I can tell you is that if you don't grab it, um, you might as well not be in internet marketing because this is internet marketing. This is the only way that I've known that I can make six, seven hundred dollars in less than five minutes of writing an email and pushing a button, like I said. And that's not no BS. It really does happen. I mean, I've had thousand dollar days because of pushing of a button. So um, if you don't do this, you're insane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, I love you. Um, you are so right, James. I could. I had to be honest. You know, I, I, you know, everybody knows that I'm the most honest person out there, really. And I say what I mean. And Christy will tell you because we met each other up in the um, Warrior Convention. Um, I went up there with my wife and with my family, and she'll tell you what you see here is what you get there. And um, 
this is how I am. So, Christy, I know you have a special thought of the day. Can you actually tell us all? Because um, we've been waiting for it. Okay. And you know what? This one's really simple. It's a Japanese proverb. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Fall seven times, stand up eight. There's a lot of wisdom in that. You know, you can fail, 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 and that last time you stand up, suddenly you're going to see some success. And, you know, Reed's telling you exactly how to do it. So go get his course. Two thumbs up. Um, thanks, for Reed. I totally appreciate it. You know what? You're actually doing a service for everybody because, you, I mean, what you just told them, I mean, is really it. So um, thanks for being on, Reed. Well, thank you. Thanks, James. Thanks, Christy. Thanks for having me. Reed, it was really a pleasure to meet you. Really. Two thumbs up, Christy. Tell us right away. Thumbs up. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Later on, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.